friends, we are live here from my house living room with a beautiful Maud who came on our most recent Cleanse Revolution in April this year and is joining us again next month. Maud has very generously and kindly agreed to come and share a bit of her story with you because I'm thinking there might be some people at home who are curious about the cleanse and the last cleanse was Maud's first one. So uh, thank you Maud. No, thank you Orla. Thanks for having me and hello everyone. Um, yeah, I'm delighted to talk to you all about my experience because I really found it so helpful um, for a couple of different reasons. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, definitely shoot them at me and I can try and answer them for you. Or, yeah, or, uh, um, lovely. So let's begin. If you are watching, you can let us know have you cleansed before and if you have any questions for Maud, that would be great. So we're going to start off by asking Maud, why did you choose to do a cleanse? Um, so last year, um, I don't know, I think it might have been a residual sort of trauma from everything that we've all been through over the last couple of years with COVID, but also more um, personally, I, uh, I lost someone very close to me and I was grieving. Um, and not just that, it, it, I, I was having a lot of trouble with my um, digestive issues and just overall health wasn't well. I wasn't able to concentrate at work I felt like you know I, I couldn't really get a handle on my life and where I was going and I just felt like I really needed to do something drastic or something completely different to try and, and help myself and I felt like the um, there was I don't know I, I met Orla sort of very <laughs> randomly in a, in a very serendipitous way and she started talking to me about the kind of work she does and she just contacted me at the very right time to say, um, we're doing the cleanse, do you want to join? And I just knew that it was the right thing to do and um, and where I needed to be. It just felt very natural to, to say yes at that point. And I've never done anything like it. I've never, I mean, anybody who knows me will know that I love a hedonistic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I love to have fun, I love to eat, I love to eat out, I love restaurants. I never thought I would be able to follow a strict diet um you know and and actually i found it so much easier thanks to orla who was really such a wonderful guide um with everything and and really helped me navigate a very very difficult time i'm forever grateful for everything she did to, for me in in that time really oh, and truly. Oh, it was a pleasure but you did it so i'd say people would love to hear like how was the experience for you like maybe before you did the cleanse you know when you were thinking about it then when you started it and went through the journey towards the end yeah how was your experience um okay so at the beginning um i i mean for i thought right this is going to be difficult no sugar no chocolate no coffee mm -hmm. nothing no fruit um it sounds really intense and and honestly it was a little overwhelming at the beginning but um the first, so the first thing I kind of said, right, well, I started to notice after the first week, even though I had these intense cravings, you know, just stick with the plan and just kind of keep going, you know, you can do this. Um, and I started to notice, first of all, um, my skin got really clear, you know, immediately my, all my kind of health issues that I had were gone. Like within the first week, I was just, my digestion was back on track, like better than ever before. And I was able to uh, have more focus in work and concentrate a bit more. Um, and yeah, I just kind of felt like the first week was really, I really noticed the health benefits. And that was only within the first week. Obviously, they got better as, as the weeks went on. I was able to really feel a massive difference. And uh, for anybody looking to lose some weight or just even just have that kind of the first two weeks I felt maybe slightly less energetic, but then afterwards I had so much energy. Week three and four, um, I really kind of got into it and was very energetic. Definitely helps with weight loss. It helps with uh, sleep. Um, I found then about halfway through that I was able to be more disciplined with myself and not just with, with the diet, but in other aspects and other areas of my life as well. Um, so I find that really, really helpful. It really helped me concentrate with work and, um, and yeah, it just made me feel overall better about everything in my life, made me appreciate things a lot more. It made me appreciate everything that I do for myself and, you know, and that I'm, you know, noticing what kind of person I am and, um, and really just being 
happy about being me. Um, really uplifting, I would say. Uplifting, yeah. Yeah. It's good for the mind, right? Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Um, okay, great. And were you hungry at all in the cleanse? Like, how was it? How much food did you eat? Did you... Um, no, I felt like, it, I mean, ultimately, it was just about giving up certain foods. But everything that was cleanse-friendly was so tasty you know um actually you didn't struggle at all and i didn't feel hungry i think at the beginning the sugar cravings were a little tough um but i got through that a lot better than i thought i would um i didn't miss alcohol one bit it was so funny for someone who kind of drinks or you know at that point was drinking pretty much every day uh even if it was just one glass of wine i i didn't feel the need to go back to it i just felt so like oh yeah no i don't need this anymore <laughs> you know um, but no, I wasn't hungry. Um, I felt like, the, and also the recipes were all amazing, like really, really good. Um, so yeah, I know I, I, I never really felt hunger. In fact, I started cooking more and I started really appreciating making food for my friends and going over to my friends' houses because obviously they couldn't cook for me. I said, no, I'll bring the food and I'll feed you all this wonderful, <laughs> healthy food. And everybody I fed were like so blown away by everything. By, by the food I was making them and they all felt really nourished and it was a nice way to connect with people without needing any other you know stimulants and and actually just having a really nice time cooking together or eating together or feeding people which is a really nice thing to do um yeah beautiful and um, and what would you say were the greatest benefits of the cleanse for you um I think it really got me out of this dark hole. If I was to say the biggest benefit was my mental health really, really benefited from it. Um, because I was in a dark place and it really helped pull me out of that. And then as well, uh, feeling a lot more focused in work. I, I would say that they were the two. Um, because weight loss wasn't the reason I went into it, even though it definitely would help anybody looking to do that. It wasn't my reason for it. So I would say definitely my mental health really and, and since then i've managed to you know that was what six months ago now it's yeah. Like, yeah since then i i haven't been in that dark place again you know it's helped me kind of it's given me a lot of tools to deal with things that i didn't have before yeah brilliant thank you so much mm. so um yeah mental health is a huge part of the cleanse it really increases concentration and focus and sleep quality um, we have like morning meditation as an option for mm. people, which is really nice to get the energy systems in the body clear and get the mind into a really good place as that retrains it. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Yeah. Just on the meditation. Actually, I forgot the meditation was so helpful. I have since maybe not kept it up as much as I'd like to. I think it's definitely one of those habits that you just need to really get into. Um, it's not, it's not so easy if you're not, if you're not doing it all the time, it's, very hard um but the, yeah the guided meditations i found really helpful and i also found the workshops really helpful to kind of get get all that give you the tools essentially that you yeah. need to yeah. yes. to sort of live a better life or to you know have more mental clarity and positivity yeah very good thank you yeah yeah and that's like um, maybe we just finish up shortly so if, thank you for the people who are watching and if you have a question again please please do write it there in the comments and we'll come to it when we finish but like discipline, I think a lot of people, when they think of cleansing, they think of discipline, they think of sacrifice. Yeah. And sometimes that's like, uh, it, it, turn, it can turn us off in certain moments, right? Like we're like, mm, not really in the mood for that now. So what would be your thoughts or your comments on the cleanse and what the discipline aspect is or how it is? Um, in terms of discipline, I think, I think maybe you do need a little bit of willpower when it comes to that. I think you need to be ready to say, I am going to be disciplined. But I think it's important as well when you don't, when you're not disciplined, to not beat yourself up over it and not be like, you know, oh no, I did this and, you know, but I think Orla, you really made it very, very easy to follow that discipline because you had such a positive way of, of putting it all to us. It was like, no, you know, I'm, I'm doing this for me and Orla's there to help. If you do fall, it's okay. You can pick yourself back up again. You know, it takes time to be disciplined. And as we were just saying earlier, you don't have to do it all in the first week, you know, you can ease your way into it. Um, but the good thing about discipline is that when you do do it, 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 it helps you in so many other things in your life. You start becoming more disciplined in other aspects too, and not just in minding what you eat and what you do in, in this sense, you know, in the kind of cleanse sense, but actually 
um, I found that I, I had discipline to to do more exercise or to be more uh, available to my friends and to not let people, you know, not, not that I would let people down, but just to make sure that you follow up with your appointments <laughs> and with people. Um, so yeah, I just, I felt like discipline was something that kind of started then um, happening more, that I was more able to do in my, in other parts of my life as well. Beautiful. Yeah, I think like discipline can actually be really freeing, mm -hmm. you know, like if you make that commitment and the, the cleanse is all about self-love, self-care and making that commitment to yourself and even within the cleanse, there's complete room for just you having to do whatever you need to do. There's no judgment that people don't need to feel worried, you know, about like you have to be there at meditation or you have to not eat sugar. If you, whatever you do, it's OK. And we're just going to support you to step as much as you can on your path and, you know, delve as much as you can into the commitment and discipline that works for you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's very often. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for watching. I had a look here and I don't think we have any questions but a few people have come on so thank you so much for your presence thanks for listening <laughs> and yeah and if you have anything else you would like to you know find out about the clans let us know send a message and um see what we can share for anyone watching the cleanse is from the 22nd of october to the 21st of november that's four weeks and um we will actually open up the group a week in advance you'll get videos and all the information on the foods and the herbs and yeah there are three different levels of joining so if you have a look at my page you'll see all of the information there in the post i would love to hear from you if you're interested tonight we trialed a new dish for the cleanse cookbook <laughs> it's delicious <laughs> it's like a, a plant-based vegan shepherd's pie that's cleanse friendly mm -hmm. and uh, so there's lots of nice dishes as well i'm working on bringing more to you so yeah let, it, let us know if you'd like to join it's all about community all about connection all about supporting each other all about fun and really raising our game so you enter into christmas into your new year feeling the best you and um, allowing yourself to be supported by others in the process all right loads of love thanks a million for watching Bye. thank you <laughs> thank you